What's up, Taurus gang? Let's see what's going on here in the Taurus Patreon Collective. I might share this with the with the public just to get them on over here to see what we're doing over here in this Taurus Collective Patreon. Let's see. What does Taurus need to know? Angels, spirit guides, ancestors. Spirit just told me to plant that seed with the seven of pentacles because they missing out. <laughs> okay. What does the Taurus Collective need to know? Thank you for your support. Thank you for joining. Thank you for everything. I am truly grateful. For the Taurus Patreon Collective, Spirit, what do we Taurus need to know? What's going on in the Taurus Collective if I share it? Angels, Spirit guys, for Taurus, what's going on? What can Taurus expect? Somebody got to let go of the past. Six of Cups. Or they are. Someone's having a hard time letting go of the past. If they're trying, yep, ten of wands. Someone's having a hard time releasing and letting go of the past. Traumas, childhood trauma, things that they have gone to, through. They could be stuck in the past. Lots of burdens, feeling weighed down, bringing the past into the present. Still judging the, the present and the future with baggage from what has already transpired here someone could have grown up in mexico we got the two of pentacles and the ten of cups this is somebody who's having a hard time adapting as well to the newness or being happy this is negative thinking this is negative yeah yep there are new beginnings here i feel with the ten of cups because it could because ten of, six of cups is past energies emotionally then here comes it, absolute everlasting bliss with the ten of cups being completely content and happy possibly even creating a family or well, this could be family trauma upbringing we're going to clarify with a different tarot deck just to see okay someone could want to come towards you for fulfillment they release the past and the baggage and the burdens they definitely are having a hard time adapting though we're going to clarify what else for tourists what's the tea taurus collective spirit three of cups reconciliation lots of cups here reconciliation third party or a reason to celebrate after releasing something laying it to rest and letting it go hmm okay let's get a situation for taurus single current status available so perhaps someone let something go, they released it, they was giving to you and another, or they want to come in or support you, bring things into alignment. You've been very patient. Yep. And they're taking their time bringing you an offer, or they thought about it a while. Interesting. What slipped out? Searching online, looking for records and info. They're watching you. What's Six of Cups in reverse, Spirit, for tourists? This is a soulmate. Could be a karmic soulmate holding you back. Holding on to you, negotiated, bargaining, and begging. Someone's clinging with begging to something about the past. Or someone from your past. Could be some, some bad blood between the two of you. They're coming to negotiate something with you. Perhaps to start over again. Three of Cups with the Ten of Cups. Two of Pentacles in reverse. What's the Ten of Wands for Taurus? Commitment. And it came out sideways. So they could have been non-committal due to responsibilities, burdens, things that they were holding on to or somebody holding on to them. Or they could be holding on to a commitment that actually have so much trauma, drama, weight. It's heavy. I, w I feel like they are carrying the, the weight of a relationship. They're not completely happy or they feel weighed down that they didn't commit to you when they had the chance. We're going to get another tarot card, but let's see. What's the situation behind the two of pentacles for tourists? Twin flame. That's adapting to change. Hold up, child. Yep. <laughs> Shit just got real. Hold on now. Okay. Because what's the two of pentacles in reverse in all other meanings? Burdens, imbalance, spread too thinly, overwhelmed. Y'all twin flame is going through a lot. When reversed, the balance of material energy is upturned and the fool has spread herself too thin. The responsibilities may demand too much. Somebody got a lot of burdens and responsibilities. Ten of Wands, Two of Pentacles in reverse. They can't handle it. Or she, she can't meet all of her commitments. There are not enough resources, money, time, or effort to keep up with this the state of affairs. She must put too much energy into one aspect of her life to the, to the determinant of others. 
so or it says she may so somebody has put a lot of energy time effort money and experience into other people other than themselves this could be you or your or your twin for most of you with this twin flame card here or just a soulmate six of cups did show up child they could definitely be needing to release that with the four swords at the bottom of the deck what's the situation behind the ten of cups or this is y'all uh juggling things at home somebody could want a family with you with entrapment pregnancy money heartstrings could be staying in a family dynamic with somebody where they got a lot of burdens or responsibilities child's mother child's father that they have to take care of okay they could feel stuck for sure based on what family expects of them or everybody is pulling on them they have a lot of they a lot of weight that's just a lot of weight what's the three of cups for tourists divine feminine this is a reconciliation child they put they divine the divine masculine could have put the divine feminine in a third party connection or vice versa one of y'all did this to the other or one of you wants to reconcile with the other or both of you i mean sometimes y'all cut y'all person off that was definitely a third party when i cut the deck on love affair dirty little secret down low or they want to keep this reconciliation on the low they don't want everybody in y'all business take it as it resonates for a source for tourists what's the see meeting yep yep <laughs> there's a meeting in my bedroom they want to see y'all because we got r kelly bump and grind on the damn tv don't play with it somebody want to see you they didn't lay something to rest or they want to heal this connection with some with some with some yeah okay at your house or they need a place to stay. They got a lot of things that, yep, they got something to tell you. They got a lot of things that they're working through. They could be needing to move. Or you just moved. Let's see. Let me get another tarot card because I wasn't playing. Six of Cups negotiated for Taurus. Let's get in it. What is that? Make it make sense. Nine of Cups. Six of Swords. Somebody coming your way because you are their wish fulfillment. They not letting go what y'all used to have. Hold up, because. <laughs> I never cough during my readings, like, it's, unless it's serious, because what? Hold on, yo. Somebody got something to say. Stagnation, no closure, trapped in the past, loss of innocence. Someone could have been abused sexually, too. Okay, that could be some of the burdens um sorry that happened to you okay so there's a lack of closure they coming back to give you that too okay they want to they want to smooth things out six of swords nine of cups because you don't wish fulfillment they want shit to go back the way that it used to be and they want to make something right six of swords is smoothing things out okay and this could be you this uh queen of pentacles energy earth sign energy or just just the fact because you see this person as a nurturing, kind, giving, affectionate, you know, warm, abundant, and fertile. Or this is how they see you for you women. What's the Ten of Wands commitment spirit? We got Aquarius and uh, Pisces energy. What's uh, Sagittarius, Ten of Wands? Five, six, seven uh, cups is uh, Scorpio, Capricorn, Pisces, Cancer. All right with the minor arcanas commitment to the ones that just pop i never do that ghetto ass diva shit <laughs> what's the ten of wands commitment eight of wands is going to shift there's going to be progress in whatever is weighing them down and whatever tension is between the two of you gang that's all i'm on Herifying energy they want a spirit this, this is a spiritual connection they want something solid and stable with you Okay, they're very traditional. They want commitment. They're not playing. Clarifying commitment to her is showing up. This person is serious. And they and they and they once they work through whatever things that they're working through, this is gonna take off very fast. Or somehow momentum has picked up in their life. Blocks have been removed. This person has got a clear path forward now. Whatever burdens they had blocking this union, it is now all clear. Eight of Wands. What's twin flame two of pentacles in reverse spirit? Ace of motherfucking cups. Woo! I'ma share this on my... I'ma put this on YouTube. <laughs> okay. Okay. 
Wait a minute. All right. Listen. Listen. Asa comes with the towel. Boop. They in love. Shocking revelation. Drastic changes. Here they come. Oh, my God. I didn't know I ever felt like this about you. But I do. Things were imbalanced before, but they not no more. Scorpio and Joe was conflict. I put you in competition. It was a third party, but here come a reconciliation for some of you. Uh, with the third party. I mean, not everybody was in the third party. I don't know, child, but this shit is changing. Eight of Wands in a tower in the same reading is drastic changes, and ain't nothing nobody could do about a tower in the Eight of Wands, okay? Because that's that is what it is. So this twin flame, rather you, whatever side of the twin flame connection you're on um this person is ready for progress they're ready for things to shift they're ready to express their love they have gone through so much some of them still are okay past present future but this is looking like eventually they will get through it if they ain't for some of you they in the midst of working on it for some of you they still stuck to the past but the potential is here six of swords eight of wands ace of cups everlasting love eternal bliss what is the ten of cups in this entrapment card for two of us? justice whew, making it right who that is <laughs> your other half divine feminine divine masculine look at him chilling aries energy libra with the um justice taurus and uh libra with the divine feminine Okay, so this person wants to make something right. Um, They felt stuck due to a pregnancy, due to money, due to heartstrings. They went through some kind of legal matter. They could be getting out of jail with entrapment justice here to come towards you, move in with you, be with you. Your emperor child for you divine feminists watching. Um, yeah. What's the justice? star card <laughs> aquarius energy someone is really 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 getting in high gear to smooth something out with you to heal this connection they're very optimistic you are literally their wish ain't nothing else out there all them stars they pretty or whatever but they ain't as bold and bright and as radiant as you are vibrant as you are somebody could be in the spotlight too uh, you could be some kind of public speaker here or humanitarian that speaks for others or uh, activist. I don't know. Um, cause it's a collective reading, but definitely, definitely, um, I want to say a high vibrational being and energy that means, you know, means well in life. This person is truly a, a star. Okay. Or you will be, but, um, this is where they're trying to get next to you. Nine of Pentacles. <laughs> you're doing it all by yourself. You're looking good. Okay. They want you. Well, you will be in this energy. or And they will be able to come towards you when they when they heal and work through whatever they're working through. Because don't forget now, the Four of Swords is at the bottom of the deck. So wherever your person is in their healing phase is how your reading will be dictated. Or how this will, you know, apply to you or resonate with you. If you know your person has been doing the work, working on self and closing out cycles and saying no to drugs. <laughs> saying no to drugs okay they working on it okay what's the divine feminine the three of cups for Taurus? the six of cups hmm because the six of cups is in reverse over here here it is back over here in the upright with the divine feminine this is a reconciliation with a soulmate i don't care what nobody say somebody is getting ready to celebrate with their other half you feel me okay because I can't pick the cards. They picked me. They done jumped on out here. Queen of Cups. Okay, because you are psychic or clairvoyant, you're loving, you're nurturing, you're giving, you're kind, you're you're um somehow could be pregnant too. Somebody about to get pregnant. Mm -mm. But uh or this is how you <laughs> this is how you see this woman for you masculine energies watching. What's a meeting in my bedroom? Spirit. Don't give me the ace of wands. I'm gonna scream. What's meeting? The source. Oh shit, we got three. Ace of Pentacles, Page of Cups, and the Eight of Pentacles. This person 
They want to see you, commit to you, apologize to you. They see the potential offered to you. Ooh, Lord. They are following their heart. They're opening up. They're becoming more emotionally available because it could have been no emotions with this page of cups. They were naive about not giving you this offer. They want to talk about it. And they want to work through things, Eight of Pentacles, or work on it gradually for some of you. They want to put in the work. Okay, what's at the bottom of the deck? Because this is beautiful. The p good news coming in, page of wands. Could be some kind of flirty little regular degular text. But um, it's going to lead to this Ace of Pentacles, this star, and this Ace of Cups. Peace, gang.